Hello! Another beer review then. Um, this is a beer that I've actually had before in April 2016 when I was uh, in Madeira. And this is from the Fastino Brewing Co. And this is their Malgita. And this is their English barley wine coming in at 9% ABV. Purchased this in the supermarket chain Continent Continent in uh, here in Madeira. And yeah, 9% ABV, no other information. I've had it, I say, once before. Black bottle cap then. So, I thought I'd just give it another review. I think it was reviewed 220 something or whenever that was. So, a couple of years ago. And it's carbonate, it's coming out a little bit. It's not been in the fridge, so it's, it's kind of room temperature or outside temperature, whatever it is. So we'll be a bit gentle with this. I've had a few barley wines since I've been out here, and that is going crazy. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you're seeing it on camera, because it's a little bit dark for me, because of the light behind me, but if I can do that. It's like a ship setting sail. It really is. This part of the glass is going mental. So, and the head's actually rising on this one in the glass. It's really powering the head up to. It's about a three, just below, yeah, three finger. Kind of slightly tanned like coppery head I suppose but really tightly packed bubbles really reinforcing the head it's gonna if I leave it for 10 minutes it will come over the top of the glass but apart from that there's kind of a lot of mahogany sort of color and there's loads of particulates getting pummeled around in this so bottle conditioned beer interesting one I can't remember what it was like for carbonation the first time round a few years ago but look at that it's actually near the top of the glass now so I ain't gonna get much of aroma apart from like brown sugar um, that cream brulee not picking up much else with all that like now three and a half fingers ahead and it's coming out the top now so I'm gonna try and calm this down a bit Give it another go. It's carbonated, <laughs> as you can tell. And it really is fizzing in the pit of your stomach, drinking it that quick just to try and relieve some of this uh, energy in this beer. Very sweet, brown sugar, as I've already said. Caramel, toffee, carbonation is just a roaring carbonation on this one. Um, <clears throat> it just says beer pairing, strong cheeses, game meat, caramel desserts, and the ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, sugar, and yeast. So, sugar that is very sweet. So, I mean as sugars are fermentable sugar <coughs> pardon me I don't know if they've added any kind of lactose this I mean I'm not being a brewer uh, best before the 1st of September of 2019 so we're fine there this style of beer wouldn't matter so much anyway um, it'd be interesting to see what it would be like in September age it for that long and um, 
in the fridge, certainly for this bowl. It's calmed down a bit now. I'm not even going to attempt to pour more in because it's just going to go everywhere. But yeah, it's starting to uh, dissipate now, so maybe I'll get more of an aroma on this. Nice kind of almost like warm brown bread, almost like brown uh, brown toast. There's a kind of a slight kind of, it's, it's sticky because it's that sweet. I mean the ABV is hidden really well for a 9% beer, it's a free 30ml bottle. I wasn't going to review this, I was just going to drink it and I thought, ah, what the hell. It's very smooth, I'm almost getting like a slight kind of raisiny quality coming through now. But yeah, that after sweetness really kind of sticks around on the palate. Body wise, it's, it's probably sort of in the the medium, the upper end of a medium body. But yeah, it's very sweet. If you don't like sweet beers, then obviously barley wines aren't going to be for you, but I'm really enjoying it. It's just that carbonation, it's just a little bit annoying. Let's do it. Let's, what the hell? Let's, let's get it angry again. As I said in my uh, last review, I don't know when what order I'm posting these. I've just reviewed the uh, Corral 600th anniversary Amber Lager. The weather is really closing in. Dogs are having a fight. Usual kind of jazz here. Next door neighbour's dog. They can't get to each other. So. Just having a few verbals. Not the locals. And uh, I think this was three euros sixty, something like that, which is not bad. It's nice to see this sort of beer in, in a supermarket, although there, there, there didn't seem to be as many kind of different types of beer as say two or three years ago. For some reason, I don't know what what's up with that, but you can see the particulates in this. And it's yeah, it's going a bit crazy. It's not as quite as bad as before, but. So by the time I post this, it'll be 2019. I thought the dog was coming then. I was just about to kick it. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is okay. Um, I've had a few other barley wines since I've been here on this trip. And, yeah, this is kind of... I've, I've found this beer's place, whereas before this was the only one I've tried. So, uh, anyway, I'm waffling away. Um... It's won several awards as well, this one. World Beer Awards. Um, it's got gold in Europe. I don't know what that one is. The uh, International Beer Challenge in London. And then the 2017 Iber Iberian Awards. It's got gold as well. So it's, it's won a few bits and pieces award-wise. Um, brewed in Portugal. Incidentally, it's brewed in uh, Aveiro. Portugal, I'm probably butchering that up, but like I do. Um, and the distribution is by Icon uh, Key. No idea. Bulk conditioned, enjoyed it, experienced responsibly. Of course. Dark copper coloured beer with ruby highlights, intense with fruity aromas and caramel notes. That's what it just says here in the translated part. Um, what's that? Global Association of Craft Beer Brewers. That one there. And there's the other awards. So, and it's in the supermarket as well. Um, if it wasn't for the carbonation, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. But because of the carbonation on this one, where it's, I don't know how it was stored in the supermarkets, it's bad, it's bad enough some styles of beer in the UK, that dog's driving me up the wall. Um, 
here in Portugal it's probably the same. Um, I, I'm going to give this. I'm going to give this a seven out of ten. Um, it might have got like a seven and a half, maybe an eight if it wasn't so carbonated. But um, yeah. Anyway, that's a that's a re-review of Fistino Brewing Company. This is the Mol Moldita English barley wine, nine percent ABV. So let me know if you've had this one before. Uh, check out my review of this or when I originally had it in 2016. I'll put that link down below. Thanks for watching then, and I'll see you in the next review. Cheers. That dog. <laughs>